Eloise Fion. I'm going to go for the Ignis first. Okay, so we actually hit it right there. We're one for one. How do we know? Am I getting really lucky? What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we're going to be jumping into the Valentine's Day event. Uh, I did go ahead and make some purchases, we really needed these diamonds or gems, honestly. Uh, the crayons will be interesting, but we are going to participate in this event right here. Now, one thing I think I did decide on is, we're going to go for Star Spawn Core 6s, I think, here from now on. That's going to be our main goal that we do, uh, so that's mainly what we're headed for here. Now, Valentine's Day rewards. We do need to give all these out here. We have 430. So I went ahead and did all the five stars out of here. We didn't get any Valentine's packages besides the actual actually, yeah, I guess I guess I guess we got the extra 100 because they don't come in the normal value packs, right? No, only the letters. The letters are like the super premium thing here. Uh, well, let's give all these out. We already hit 20 of them. We're not going to get up to here today because we do need to spend our bunny toys to actually get there. So that's not going to happen until the end of the week. But for the time being, we can see what else we get for rewards here. Oh, wait. Oh, I didn't realize that. I didn't realize giving these actually gave rewards too. So doing the one point walk here is going to give a wishing coin. Bleh. Uh, the five, right? Five of fireworks appreciation gives a heroic summoning scroll. Dream dinner gives a full five star. It's probably best to just go for a ton of five star here because that's just a lot of food. Hello? Oh, I thought I clicked it. I'm like, wait, it didn't do anything. Why isn't it doing anything? Make it do something. <laughs> oh, okay, I see. Because not every time we're going to get rewards. Okay, okay. I'm following now. I'm following the affections down behind my face. We're 180. That's 200. So it's going to take a few more hits here to get up to 250, which is going to be a six-star set of gear, which we really do need, honestly. Uh, and we might just use all these gems just on resonance gear today as well. We'll see. Uh, are we going to get to 350? Yes, we are. We got to the 350, getting the letters and the five-star hero chest. We got 90 more, which means we are going to be 10 short from getting the orange exclusive artifact shards. Uh, again, we're just going to have to max this out, get the 150, and that's going to give us one of our additional melodic strings, which will bring us up to two spare ones, a.k.a. a glittery. And then I'm hoping we can get something from another event so here's what we need to figure out what do, what do we do here so this is a rewards preview how do you actually pick your hero <sighs> i feel like we're gonna want to do these one at a time and i kind of want to try to high roll and get another artifact chest here which ones do i want to go for do i want those heroes Eh, do I want these heroes? I kind of like this one the best, the middle tier one. These seem like all... Ugh, ugh. Let's try to hunt these copies then. So we're going to go for an Eloise. Are they all female? No. There's five males, five females. Oh, geez. So what do we do? Do we just hit the button here? I'm kind of scared, to be honest. Like, I don't want to mess this up, but if I'm going to mess it up... Do we just do one card at a time? I think we just do one at a time to play it safe. Let's see. Consume love letter times one. Yes. Okay, so we got to scroll. And then once you do that, you select the hero. Oh, God, wait. What was the hero? Hold on. I totally forgot the hero list we're looking for here. Oh, man. That could have been devastating. Um, Eloise, Fiona, and Ignis. Eloise, Fiona. I'm going to go for the Ignis first. Okay, so we actually hit it right there. We're one for one. How do we know? Am I getting really lucky? <laughs> like, wait, what? Um, okay, no, not that one, not that one. Um, 
Let's go for an Amon Ra next. Okay, so that was the first time I didn't get it on the first pick. Like I said, there's going to be some people that literally hit it probably on the first one on every single one and come away with some crazy, crazy stuff here. Uh, we said the Amon Ra is going to be the next one we grab. Who are we going for after that? Holy cow, this is crazy. We're having some good luck here. So we need Fiona and Flora. Fiona and Flora, the two. I always mix their names up together. Okay, we didn't get it there. I feel like we're kind of high rolling still, though. This is going pretty good. The first few were really good. Oh, I think we might go to our first pity. Yep, the first pity timer of four to get one of the heroes we want. We're going to select the Fiona. Last up is going to be the Flora. Can we hit it right here? That would be perfect. Come on. Oh, he actually hit it. No way. <gasps> All right, so we got the Flora. Now we got to move over to the guy's side. Holy cow. Holy cow. Um. All right. Let's go for Rogan and Sherlock first. Come on, please be as good luck over here for me. Oh, no, we missed it. We missed it. Come on, Rogan and Sherlock. Oh, man. No, we're going to go to the pity timer. We're going to the pity timer. Darn it. We might have to spend a little bit on this event. Because <laughs> I do want to get one more chest out of this. Uh, what is this look? We'll go for Andrea next. Okay, that one didn't net us anything. I like this event, to be honest. RNG is usually kind of crappy. And I guess if you're going to four every single time like this, it does feel kind of bad. Uh, Let's get the Andrea. Okay, let's check who the other two we need. There's a chance we can pull this out, guys. There's a chance. We need Morax and Tix in six. Oh, come on, come on, please, please. Don't make me spend more. All right, three. Three is fine. Oh, no, we only have two pulls for the last one then. No. All right, let's grab the ticks coffee. Come on. Fingers crossed. Let's get Marax. Come on, come on. Give me the hero. Give me the hero. Give me the hero. No. Ugh. Come on, give me the hero. No. <laughs> Oh man, we almost pulled that out with only getting the extra five envelopes. That was some insane luck. Like, absolutely insane. Um, I really want that Marax copy, though. Because I really want this extra chest here. I really want the extra chest. So what do we already get for rewards? We already got the Demon Belt, some puppets, and some profit orbs. Oh man, so we only need like two more. I can get that for free. I'll be right back. And we're back down to zero Google Play points. But the important part is we got some good stuff here. Uh, oh, man, I actually might want that, too. <laughs> I might, uh, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, so the last one here. What do we need? Again, I just want to make sure we need Marax here. Okay, Marax is the last one. Let's go. Come on. We didn't high roll, so it's a good thing I got two of them, which is fine. All right, so we get that Marax copy right there, and that now means we got a chest. Nice. So, these, of course, they have all the other heroes in it. They got six of eight of them here. Sadly, they don't give you, like, great options to get additional ones without bearing off too far here like we're like we got stuff in every pack they definitely took their time to make sure they separated them out so you weren't getting duplicate rewards for like the same exact hero copies Ugh. um crayon event so what does this actually do like i don't understand i'm guessing this means like i've had them at one point on my account or currently have them I just, I, I, I just, I don't, I don't, I don't really want any of these skins, <laughs> to be honest. The crayon event, I think, is a hard pass, but, um, yeah, because useless, 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 kind of useful, fringe useful with PvP, useful because it's the only skin, I think, right now. Uh, I mean, this would be the only one to really go for is the Jara skin. Everything else is just like a hard pass on this event. Like, a hard pass. Um, okay. 
Ah, forget it. You know what? We're going to do. We're going to get some heroic scrolls. <laughs> I just want to grab the exclusive orange shards too. Um, okay. So we got the VIP. We bought out all these packs. We got some things. Uh, I guess we did pretty good. So in order to get this right here, we had to spend an extra... I mean, really, we need five. We need seven more. So what's the cheapest way to get seven? <laughs> we did like... Yeah, 50 bucks pretty much. 50, 60, so 70 bucks to get a artifact chest. Honestly, not that bad as far as pay to an artifact chest go. Like if you really think about 70 bucks, that's not bad. Granted, we started out very, very good in the early rounds and we got them back to back to back. So I don't know. It seemed pretty good. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Let me know what you guys think so far about the uh, the event here. Of course, we're going to get one more pay to one artifact chest down here, which is going to bring us to a total of, I think I already cashed one in, right? Wait a minute, where's my chest? Oh, there it is. I'm like, hold on, wait a minute. We should have already had the chest. We're just going to automatically cash it out for a melodic string so that we don't mess that up at all. And we should have like two of them now. Yeah, we got two of them in the bag. So we'll get a third one this week. I really don't want to spend any more money on this event. It's not worth it past the first like 70 to 100 bucks, 50 to 100 bucks, depending on your luck. I mean, reality, like I said, there might be someone out there who gets this completely free just because they get every single hero within two attempts. I mean, if you think about it, you can get 20 free to play. Uh, and if you get them within two, you can get it, which is pretty crazy. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys next time.